The face has a remarkable assembly of muscle and neurovascular structures. It is one of the finest examples of diversity of genetic expression. No two individual faces are identical. However, the basic pattern of muscle and neurovascular anatomy is the same in all individuals, irrespective of gender or race. The muscles of the face are unique in the sense that they originate from bone and insert to the skin. This enables facial expression. There is no deep fascia in the face, except for a small patch over the parotid gland. Four muscles are dedicated to masticatory functions. Temporalis, masseter, medial, and lateral pterygoids. These muscles are better seen in the dissection of the infratemporal fossa. The common carotid artery ascends in the neck and divides into internal and external carotid arteries. The internal carotid reaches the cranial cavity without giving any branches to the face. The external carotid gives several named branches, which supply the superficial and deep parts of the face and neck. Most of the draining veins bear names similar to the artery. Besides, there is an extensive plexus of veins from which larger veins are formed. In some areas, communicating veins reach the cranial cavity. The internal jugular vein collects blood both from the interior as well as the exterior of the cranial cavity. The rest of the face and neck drain into the external jugular vein and occipital veins. The nerves are broadly classified into sensory and motor. The facial nerve is the motor nerve of the face and supplies all the muscles of facial expression. The trigeminal nerve is the sensory nerve of the face. Additional sensory supply is seen in the tongue and pharynx, through the glossopharyngeal and vagus nerves, while the hypoglossal nerve is motor to the tongue. Besides this, there is an autonomic component which hitchhike their way through the peripheral nerves, parasympathetic, secretomotor, or through the blood vessels, sympathetic, vasomotor.